Hi everyone, today we're going to have fun with some surprise art supplies. Upcrate sent me another box for me to share with you. And if you haven't heard of Upcrate yet, it's a monthly art supply subscription box from Germany and it costs 24 euros or these days about 25 bucks a month and it ships for free anywhere in the world. And inside there's of course art supplies and you do not know what until you open it. So let's do this right now. It's bulging a bit, so I can't wait. There's some eyes looking at you. And just so you know, the upgrade box number 33 was for the month of May. So here, you'll, it also tells you to participate in their monthly upgrade battle to win prizes. And basically what you need to do is create something with all the supplies inside and share it on social media. So Upcrate always comes with a really cool zin, but we're going to put it on the side because it's going to spoil the surprise. So there's some really cool stickers. Some art. I wonder if it's watercolor. It looks like watercolor to me. This artwork was done by Tantani, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'm sorry. And she's based in Germany. Here's the paper to use with the art supplies. And it does look like watercolor paper. It's nice and thick. It looks like cold press and 140 pounds. <coughs> and now let's find out what's in this little package. So we start with, oh, so nice, some Windsor and Newton drawing ink, and this one is gold. Look at this. Well, so I have two Van Gogh half pans of watercolor. I've got the Indian yellow and the quinacridone rose. There's a brush by Leonard. It's size zero or Levis Fauve. I don't know if it's the name of the brush or the style of the brush. There's a really cool looking water brush. I've never seen one with this before. And there's a box. A tin box, scrim and upgrade. So I wonder if it means it's a collaboration. Oh, they're paint dots. Now I can't wait to see what the Zin tells us about all those supplies. So it talks about the scrim watercolor dots and it talks about who they are it's a company 
uh, from Germany and they basically said that they wanted to make colors that aren't as usual, that aren't found anywhere else. So we'll see. We'll see what these look like once I put some water on them. All right, so the brand is Leonard or actually Leonard since it's from France. And then the brush style is La Vie Fauve. And it says that there are synthetic fibers and those brushes are handmade in France. So the water brush is uh, the Upcrate brand. And it says to fill it up, you can put the tip in the water and squeeze the handle, which will suck the water into the tank. It doesn't really say what this does. Oh. Gonna have to experiment. The paper is Saunders and Waterford by St. Cuthbert's Mill. It's 100% cotton, which is really nice. And this is the co-captain who painted that lovely picture. She gives tips on how to paint. And there's a how-to video as well, which is neat. More art hacks. And finally, this month's upgrade battle. Um, the theme is Let It Out. So you have to use all the supplies, use this theme and create something awesome. Once you're done, you cut this out and you put it next to your drawing or painting and you take a picture and post it on social media. So now it's time to try out all the supplies and then figure out what to paint with them. I started by testing out the water brush because I was very intrigued by it and I had quite a hard time figuring it out. The zine is not very precise on how it works so I really had to fiddle and play with it. In the end I'm not sure that you really need to push on the sides of the barrel. I think you just have to put the bristles in the water and pull out the piston that's at the end at least that's how it worked with me, but I was expecting the whole barrel to fill up with water and it doesn't really. Also, when the barrel is extended to its fullest, uh, it's really long. It kind of feels awkward in my hands. It's only a personal taste. I was very happily surprised by the Van Gogh watercolors. They're very pigmented and the colors are super pretty. I really like the selection. The two scrim watercolors are also very beautiful. The orange and the blue. I don't have any names for them unfortunately, but those two are also very pigmented and that orange. I'm not sure I've ever seen an orange like that in uh, watercolor. I was not as impressed with the metallic colors that said I don't use metallic colors very often, especially in watercolor form. They were a little bit harder to activate. That said, just put a little bit more work into it and then they're fine. Uh, I was using a practice watercolor paper, a cheap watercolor paper, because I didn't want to waste the good one that came in the box. So maybe my experience with these colors might have something to do with the paper as well. Something to keep in mind. I would say the one thing that has bothered me uh, throughout my painting later on is that the two colors, the, the blue and the orange, they are a little gritty. This little uh, pieces of I'm not sure what minerals maybe and while it doesn't prevent you from painting something very beautiful it's um I don't know it's something I've never seen before now I was very excited about the ink the Winsor at Newton gold ink I've tried it before and it's really good just remember to shake it really well before you use it because it's separate when it hasn't been used in a while now for the theme it was pretty tricky. 
When I was thinking about let it out, a few things came to my mind, like either a big yawn or a scream. And then I looked at some pictures on the uh, app formerly known as Sketchy. I think it's called Museum now. And it has a lot of uh, reference photo of people, which is really good. It's a very good app. Um, and then I found that picture of somebody screaming not very loud. He's kind of looking more like in shock, but I think he's screaming too. And my daughter mentioned uh, the scream by Edward Munch. And uh, that picture actually reminded me of the painting. Not, you know, not the setting of the picture or anything, but just the positioning of the hands around the face. So I decided to mush them together, to mush those two ideas together. And I painted uh, a portrait of that person with the background of the screen, the painting. So the color selection in this box was really good to make skin tones. I had no problem. It was very easy. But what I ha had trouble with was using the paintbrush. I rarely use water brushes to make nice paintings. I usually use them for plein air sketches or things like that. So it was a bit tricky to work on details, especially the face I drew ended up being pretty small. So I struggled at first and my face looked very messy. I ended up using one of my brushes to continue because I didn't want to mess the portrait too much and it was much easier after that. I have to talk about the paper for a minute because it was so nice to use. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's great. It's 100% cotton and you can tell the water color doesn't dry very fast on it. Um, so uh, several times I used a, a hair dryer so I could add more layers. But it's really beautiful paper and I'm gonna have fun using the two other pieces that came in the box. I was not sure how to use the metallic colors in this painting and eventually I ended up using the uh, gold ink to put some highlights in the hair because uh, he, he has like blonde highlights shining in the, in the light and um, I thought that was and I thought it looked pretty neat that way but I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. So for the background or the and the bigger areas, I ended up using that French brush and that brush in combination of the paper is a great match. I was able to do very nice washes with no brush strokes. The brush is very juicy, it holds a lot and because the watercolor paper doesn't let the paint dry very fast, it was a joy just putting all those big washes of uh, watercolor. So finally, I finished with the background of the scream painting and I followed the colors loosely. Uh, it was just more like for fun. I just put the colors roughly where they were supposed to be. And that was, that was a lot of fun too. I think in the end, it looks very good together. I think the colors look great all together. It's a great color scheme. And I think it turned out pretty nice. The portrait is not the best. It was just pr more like a quick sketch, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I didn't want to take too long. I just wanted to play with the supplies and see what would happen. So once more, I think that was a great box. I can't wait to use those supplies again with other projects. And yeah, that's it. If you're interested in trying out this box, I will put a coupon in the description box below 
for 15% off a one month subscription. That way you can give it a shot and see how you like it. So it's a wrap for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye. Thank you.